Hello everyone, today is about to be insane. If it works, it's definitely gonna be the best day ever because I've got a load of wood here. I'm about to build an eight foot kicker ramp so I can pedal as fast as possible and step up a level in a multi-story car park. Let's get into it. Right, I've laid the wood out now on the floor here with an anchor point to this bit of rope here, which is gonna be my radius. I measured 14 foot and laid out these two boards here, which makes a length of 12 foot long. So I tried 14, it was a little bit too flat. So I've moved it in a little bit. It's just in between 14 and 13 foot. Um, and then what I've done is you get a permanent pen I'm going to draw this line here and then if you have a look at that there's a perfect transition on there so now we're going to cut this out and then cut that one out and then we can draw a template on this bit of wood for that part and then use the second bit there stick it together so let's get cutting so to cut the wood you need a jigsaw like that so make sure you've got the wood off the ground enough, otherwise the saw's just going to dig into the floor and explode in your face. Blower for the airbag will do. Oh. Perfect. Right, we've now got our start of the ramp. Then we're left, if you've bought a eight before bit of OSB like I have here, this is 18 mil, you'll be left with a perfect bit like that, which is gonna fit on this part. So you can then draw a line on here and then get cutting on this bit. I now have two parts to the bottom. Then you're left with a big surfboard like this that you can actually session hard in the streets. See, it's insane. If only that guy from around the road, the American guy was here, he'd love it. Uh. We then put the big top part on. This is gonna make up the highest part of the kicker. What's gonna really send you to the sky. Thick. Now you can see that that's gonna be the top part of the ramp. It's gonna be massive. Look at that, incredible. I'm gonna get the next final piece of wood now off the back of the trailer. We'll draw this line on, get that cut. Then we need the support that are gonna go across like that. Once again, I've laid the pre-cut bit down on there. All you have to do now is cut that piece. Let's fast forward till it's done. We now have all the parts we need cut. We're then gonna to need to get the long length of wood to connect it all together. I've laid out my templates like this now. I wanna get this bit of wood to run along the bottom, so I'm just gonna lift them up like that, kick them under, and I'm gonna get that all perfectly lined up again, then screw it in. Now, of course, if you go and lift this ramp up now, it's gonna be flopping around because of the slice in the middle. So with the leftover bit of wood here, I'm just gonna cut a little part of it. Then we'll be able to screw that in and it will be some sort of support there in the middle. Right, I've screwed in that part now. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, the screws are sticking through there. If you wanna get super perfect, obviously, measure and get it exact but we're building it quick and showing you that it doesn't need to be that perfect but it's made this whole structure now super stiff so we're going to do the same now to the other side and then i'll show you how to link the two sides together we've now got both the halves we need to connect them together with these pieces of wood my ply sheet is four foot wide so just remember that your osb sheets are 18 mil when you're cutting these down so you want to cut them just under four foot wide so obviously your ply doesn't sit strangely on your ramp let's get cutting loads of these cool look at that perfect we now have 18 pieces like this which is gonna fit in between each of these side templates. For a start, you can just prop it up like that. 
Then I'm going to screw into this. Then I'm going to bring the other one next to it. Then Louis will have to help a little bit, hold it up, and we'll screw the next part in. Then we can uh, put them all in nicely. Don't worry, guys. It's not going to be this ghetto for that long. Right, once you put one in like that, it holds itself up. Then you can actually start to get an idea of how insane it looks. Oh no, what have I made? I'm now gonna put the first one in properly and I'm gonna use this middle connection point here to make sure it's in the right position. Okay, let's put the rest in. If you go from the bottom then and then one at the very top, it really starts to come together super quick with the strength. Yeah, if you want any work done in your house or anything, just sort of let me know, you know? Perfect. Right, let's get the rest in and then the ply on. We've got all the slats on now, but as we're going to a multi-storey car park, we need to cut it down so it's going to fit underneath the height barrier. So that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, we need to lay it on its side so we can get that underway. Now for the first bit of ply. Let's get this screwed on then. And then you'll start to see the shape that is being taken place. We've now got the ramp in two pieces. The top part is almost covered. This part is fully covered now. So all we need to do is cut this off and then we can get it on the back of the trailer and we can leave and get there perfectly on time actually, which is great. Now a little moment of truth to check that that's actually going to fit on there. Oh, it's so almost perfect though, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's perfect. That's actually insane. We're going to get it on the trailer. We're going to take these extra pieces here, which are going to go up on the inside to make it stiff again. And uh, let's go and set up the most insane thing ever. Yeah. We've just arrived. We've actually left it a bit late. The sun's dropped a bit further than we thought, but we're here now. And you guys want to see it, because I definitely do. So let's just get it done and see what it's going to happen like. So we build the kicker. It's a bit scary, it's only an eight foot wide landing. Right, that's the top bit. Bottom bit. Right, I'm just going to quickly take this off because I want to drive up to the top. I'm literally running for my life to get this done. Boom, done. I'll put the pads on and send. I just want to see what it's like. Is my ramp going to work? This is a huge gap to send. Whoa! 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 Oh my god, I went totally to flat. <laughs> that was massive. <laughs> no way. I survived though. Right, less speed. See how it's going to be now. Yeah, okay. Let's get more warmed up with the tuck no hander. Yes. This is so, so crazy. Let's, uh, let's get a flip on it because it's less scary.
That's ridiculous. Flip tuck. Oh, the ramp's all moved. Yes. That is ridiculous. It's so scary. The landing, oh, I completely didn't think about that. So it's the thinnest landing ever. I wanted to three and stuff, but not on there. I'll get some uh, shin pads on and do a tail whip. Oh, that's incredible. Well, imagine in the future when I've got it set up good, you can have like a full slope line just built anywhere. Because if I had another kicker after now, remember the Jeep with the roof on off? Oh man, it can go on forever. I literally just realized that whole time, I'm so annoyed, the mic was literally in my pocket. Almost feel like the whole thing is ruined. Hopefully when we edit, it'll work. So actually, if you've seen the video, I thought it was fine. So we've got the drone in the sky now. I'm gonna get another flip with the fish eye. So let's see how that's gonna look. <laughs> to flat with a little flip table. Hopefully that looks cool on the drone. It's pretty dark now. Uh, the camera makes it look not so dark, but it's getting sketch. That was a really nice warm up. Look at that landing. <laughs> it's come apart, look. <laughs> this is insanely sketch. Man, that is the most work I've done for a vid. That was such short notice as well. We were like, gonna do something else today and then it didn't work and I was like oh my god yes so I'm super happy that happened sorry about the audio halfway through there I was just so excited and rushing so much like I said I forgot that was in the pocket but uh yeah this is a nice little warm-up for things to come uh, if you want to see more of this ridiculous kicker ramp please let me know in the comments but that is the end of the video so I hope you guys enjoyed it That'd be awesome if you leave some comments. And be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one.